just a way to spread the message that sexual violence and gender violence is something that's very real and that rape culture is something that's very real and pervasive and uh, we want people to remember that and um, you know to fight against it and um, it's very easy for university administrations for example to kind of turn a blind eye against that and you know we think that it's our role to kind of bring it to attention to people. I think like one of the biggest important messages of fighting rape culture is um, to completely come away from this idea of victim blaming um, because you know there's not nothing that you can do to stop um, someone from committing sexual assaults against you. Uh, we have to create a culture of you know, don't rape, not don't get raped. Uh, In Quebec especially, the sex ed is really lacking, it's really bad, um, it really just wants to disconnect you to your body, from your body, and really alienate you from your sexuality. It's a social problem in society, you kind of just, as, you, as we saw in the McGill case, um, everyone knew on campus that these athletes had raped a girl and no one said anything. Um, the administration knew and didn't do anything. Like, it's really, it's a societal problem. No one, no one was speaking out. And we really need to change this and make it safe so that people want to speak out and that um, society, like, takes a stand on it. The university needed to say something and they didn't.